spread keeps a total of 50 hamsters and birds as pets. Given that there is a total of 164 legs, how many hamsters does Fred keep? Now to do this, since we are given two totals, the total number of pets, total legs as well, two totals, and we do not know how much of each is present, we can use the assumption method. Alright, now assumption method works like this, there are five steps. Since they want to know how many hamsters are there, step number one, we assume the opposite. So we assume all 50 pets are, what is the opposite of hamsters? There will be birds. Alright, step number two, we find a new total number of legs. 50 times 2. Why? Because each bird has 2 legs. So there will be 100 legs. Step number 3. We find the difference in total. Okay. Total legs is actually 164. But now we have assumed it to be 100. 164 minus 100. There will be a difference of 64. Next step. We find the difference in each. Okay, between the bird and the hamster, what is the difference in the number of legs? That will be 4 minus 2, that will be 2 in terms of difference. And the last step, we will be able to find the number of hamsters. Okay, we take the big difference, divide by the small one, 64, divide by 2, that will give us an answer of 32 hamsters. So let's check our work. So, if there are 32 hamsters, there will be 32 times 4. There will be, let's see, 32 times 4, there will be 120 legs for the hamsters. And if there are 32 hamsters, let's see how many birds will there be. 50 minus 32, there will be 18. And the birds all together will have 18 times 2. There will be 36 legs. So when you add this up together, you should get 164. 128 plus 36, that is 164, which tells us that our answer of 32 hamsters is indeed correct.